Hi, I'm Miss Fung. Today we're going to continue with exponentials and logarithms and we're going to look at solving exponential equations and inequalities. We're going to look at when we have equations that have the same base on both sides and different powers, then we can say that the powers must equate. So let's do some examples. Example 1, 3 to the x is equal to 81. So 81 can also be written as 3, 9, 27, 81. So 3 to the power of 4. So now that they have the same base, we can say that the x is equal to 4. Next example. 4 to the x minus 2 equals 64. How else can you write 64? You can write 64 as 4 to the 3. So now, because they have the same base, we can say that x minus 2 is equal to the 3. So they bring the 2 over, we have x equals 3 plus 2, which is 5. Example 3. Again, you can always pause after the blue writing and then do your working out and unpause to check for whether you've done it correctly or not. So again, 25 can be written as 5 squared. So I'm going to just bracket that off before I multiply so I don't make silly mistakes. A common mistake I see is that um, a lot of students just multiply the 2 by 4, but they forget to multiply the 2 by the negative x. If you know you're one of those people that make those silly mistakes, use brackets. Always use brackets. So now we have the same base, so we can see that the 3x minus 2 um, is equal to the 2 times 4 is 8 minus the 2x. So let's equate that. So now we have that. When you have x on both sides, always get rid of the smaller side. So the smaller side is the negative 2x, and we get rid of it by adding 2x to both sides. Now we have 5x on this side. Then bring the 2 on the other side, so by adding 2 to both sides, 8 plus 2 is 10. What do we do now? Divide by 5, so we have x equals 2. Example 4. As soon as you see this, you should think about um, making it all equal to base 2. So 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. Check. 2, 4, 8, 16. And 32 is going to be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 2 to the power of 5. Now I'm going to, again, use brackets because I'm one of those uh, people that prefer uh, not making careless mistake when thinking about multiple things. So now we can expand the brackets as 4x plus 4. And now we know that we can't equate yet because it's not one thing on each side. There's multiplication on this side. But we know what to do when we multiply two bases that are the same. We add the powers. So 6x plus 4x plus 4. So 6x plus 4x is 10x plus 4. And now we can equate the powers. So we have 10x plus 4 equals 5. Um, minus 4 on both sides, we have 10x equals 1, and then divided by 10, we have x equals 1 over 10. Example 5. This one is quite tricky, but if you look at it for a little while, can you guess what we have to do? You can pause and have a little think about it. So you notice that there's a 5x here and a 5 2x there. 5 2x can be written as 5x all in bracket to the power of 2. So if we had a equals 5x, then that would be written as a squared. That would be written as minus 4a, and that's just minus 5. And now we can solve for a by using quadratics. So what times what is 5 and negative 5 and adds to negative 4? Well, 5 times 1, the difference is 4, So if, and we want negative 4, so negative 5 times positive 1 would give us um, the negative 4, so a minus 5 and a plus 1. Now a is equal to 5 or a is equal to negative 1. Now a is 5x, so let's sub that back in. So 5x equals to 5 and 5x is equal to negative 1. Now uh, we can't make 5x equals to negative 1, but we can make 5x equals to 5. So we only have one solution, 5 to an invisible 1. So x is equal to 1. So this one here has no real solutions. So make sure you write that when you're writing your answers. Example 6. Can you see the pattern this time? So again, you can write that as 3x to the power of 2. 
because when you bring that in, that's three squared, which is nine to the power of X. So now we have, uh, again, substitute A squared equals 28A minus 27. Bring everything to the left, the positive becomes negative 28, and then negative 27 becomes positive 27. Now we factorize. So 27, I straight away think of um, nine times tables, for example, nine times three, but nine and three does not become 28. What else can I do? 27 times one, 27 and one does become 28. So minus 27 minus one gives me minus 28 and minus and minus adds multiply to be positive 27. So a is 27 and a is one. Now start back in. So three x is 27 and three to the x is equal to one. Can we have both solutions this time? Yes, because 27 is the same as three, nine, 27, so three cubed. And one is the same as three to the power of zero. So x is equal to three and x is equal to zero. Be very careful not to forget this solution. Example seven, inequalities. What about when 81 to the power of x is greater than three? Well, 80, 81 can be written as three to the four, double check, three, nine, 27, 81. So three to the four x equals three to the one. So four x is uh, greater than one. So now we have x is greater than one over four. Example eight. So when we have that, it looks a little bit scary, but we can do this. The 32 can be written as two, four, eight, 16, 32. So two to the five. And because it's one over two to the five, when we bring it up, it becomes two to the negative five. So now remember that's a fraction, yeah? That's why it's negative five there. So now we can equate the powers, negative five X plus three is less than negative five. We're using the same symbol. Um, subtracting three on both sides, we have minus five minus three is minus eight. And then dividing by negative five, remember when we divide by negative, we have to change the sign. So it becomes X is greater than eight over five. So notice that here we have the basis as whole numbers, but here the base is a fraction. So two to the negative, remember it's one over two, right? So we can summarize this as uh, when the basis are greater, so between one and infinity, so then M and a to the m is greater than a to the n, then m is also greater than n. But when the basis are between zero and one, so a fraction, then if you have a to the m greater than a to the n, then m will be less than n. See the sign changes. Thank you for watching. Um, you might wanna try these examples again and I'll see you next time. Bye.